Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of Doom paintings. Doom paintings were used to depict the end of the world, or Judgment Day. These paintings were created with the intention of educating and warning people about the consequences of their actions. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at these fascinating and thought-provoking works of art that were popular in medieval times. You might have seen Doom paintings in old churches, where they were often displayed on walls and ceilings, particularly at the entrance to churches. These paintings were used to reinforce the teachings of the church, to instill fear in people, to make them lead a more pious and honest life. Because relatively few people could read and write, Doom paintings provided a great way to scare people into obeying the church and therefore maintaining social order. This meant that poorer or mostly illiterate people would not revolt and the status quo was maintained. Doom paintings were rich in symbolism and often depicted terrifying scenes of heaven and hell and the final judgment. The details and intricate designs in these paintings were meant to captivate the viewers and deliver a message about good and evil. The images were often quite graphic and would have no doubt frightened the life out of fully grown adults, let alone children. Images of devils killing and devouring souls were some of the most popular iconography. One of the most famous and graphic Doom paintings can be seen in St Paul's Church in Chaldon in the UK. In this image you can see the top half of the painting displaying a version of heaven where people who had lived good lives aspired to go. Meanwhile, in the bottom of the image, those people who had less, led less desirable lives were destined to spend eternity in this version of hell. The ladder that dissects the image re represents the journey that souls might make to heaven. Let's spend a little bit of time analysing this painting quadrant by quadrant. In the top left quadrant, you can see small people moving very slowly or dawdling, representing the sin of sloth and being punished by being placed into a vat of boiling water. Meanwhile, a horrible creature is laying on its back and grabbing hold of them before gnawing at their feet as punishment. There's also a man here seemingly consuming too much wine. He's supposed to represent the sin of gluttony. Meanwhile, there are two people seemingly having an argument over the possession of a hunting horn, perhaps representing the sin of anger. The scene on the top right is known as the harrowing of hell. The devil has his hands tied and he's laying on a horrible worm-like creature that pecks him in the head with a beak similar to that of a cockerel. Added to that, Jesus on the top right is driving a banner staff into the devil's mouth. To the left of the creature, souls are rising out of the flames of hell and moving towards Jesus in a humble, begging and thankful pose. On the left, an angel is encouraging souls to keep climbing up the ladder in order to get into heaven. The bottom left quadrant of the painting shows St Michael weighing people's souls in purgatory. If their good life was full of good deeds and the goodness outweighed their sins, they would get to go to heaven for eternity. However, if their sins outweighed the good deeds and beliefs, the devil would take them off to hell, a place with no escape, as the falling souls on the bottom half of the ladder to heaven show. The devil on the left-hand side can be seen pushing the sinning side of the scales downwards, therefore making it harder for anyone to get into heaven. He also has a rope in his right hand dragging souls into hell. In the bottom right quadrant, more of the deadly sins are represented, and it's easy to see how people could get nightmares from looking at this on a regular basis. You can see a man and a woman having a cuddle, which represents lust, with a devil grabbing hold of the man's shoulder, preventing them from going any further. Also, a man with money tied around his neck to represent greed, whose legs are over a fire and he's having his genitalia burned while being held down by two devils with forks. Above these deadly sins are two devils holding a bridge with numerous vicious and razor-sharp spikes. Souls of dishonest tradesmen are having to walk across the bridge performing impossible tasks, like this potter who's attempting to make a pot without a potter's wheel, a woman trying to spin some yarn without a spindle, a mason without his tools, and on the right-hand side of the bridge is a blacksmith attempting to make an iron 
horseshoe without an anvil. Today, doom paintings continue to inspire artists and remain a source of fascination for many people. The themes explored in doom paintings are still relevant today, making these works of art relevant even after centuries have passed. In this image here, we can see an image entitled, Does Your City Need a Bailout? Taking inspiration from ancient doom paintings. These fascinating artworks of art provide a glimpse into the beliefs and cultural values of medieval times, and you can see here how they continue to inspire us even today. Thank you for watching.